Hey everybody, if you have a Soundcraft UI24 and you're trying to use it as the main audio output for everything on your Mac, but you're not sure how to do that, well, I'm gonna show you how right now. Let's go. So I'm assuming you already know how to interface with your mixer on your computer. If you don't, I'm gonna have a video that shows you how to do just that. If you're not seeing it down there yet, it'll be there soon, but it'll be linked both here and down there when it's ready. So keep your eye out for that if you need it. So you can see here, I've got a typical layout and you can see I can scroll left and right and all my channels are visible. So how do we actually get sound to go from our Mac out to the mixer? Well, the first thing you need to do is come up to your system settings and you need to scroll down until you get to sound. And then under output, you need to choose Soundcraft UI24 USB. Now there's no driver required for Mac. It just works. Unfortunately, unlike PC, where you can choose which channels you actually want to output to on USB, um, on PC you can do anywhere up to channels 32. So you could choose one and two or three and four or 31 and 32. And on PC, I do just that. I use 31 and 32 as my output channels. Unfortunately, Mac just doesn't have that option. The way that it's set up with this mixer is that you only have the option of outputting on USB one and two. Not a huge deal, just annoying if you're somebody who really likes control of where they put it. So now that we've done that, we can jump back to our mixer and we need to decide where we're going to put the signal because you have to take it from the Mac and put it somewhere on your mixer. So something key to understand is that even though you have channel strips here, you know, labeled one, two, three, four, all the way up to uh, 24, you don't have to put USB one and two on channel strip one and two. You can put them anywhere, one, two, three, four, 23 and 24, whatever you want. You can put it on any channel strip. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. The other thing I wanna show you is how to narrow your view here if it helps you focus. So we can look at all our channels, but why do that? Let's come over to our view groups over here and I'm gonna click on view group one and that shows me only the two channels that I want to focus on. So right now I'm choosing to use channel strip one and two but it could have been anything. So how do I actually get this view? Well, over here, above your buttons for your view groups, if you click and hold on the view group button, it brings you into this window. You can now choose which view group button you wanna look at, and then you select the channels you wanna see in that view. Keep in mind, whatever channel you select first will be the first one that shows up. So if you want your left to show up first and then your right to show up second, you need to click them in that order. Whatever order you click them in is the order they will show up in. And you can see that indicated by a little number in the corner. So obviously I want my left to be one and my right to be two. And that's all I want. Now that I've chosen my channels, I can jump back out. I can come over and I can click on view group one. And now I only see the channels I want. Great. How do I assign the channels to these channel strips? We'll choose the one you want to edit first. So let's start with left, come up to edit. And under patching, instead of local or USB-A or Cascade or masters, you're going to choose the USB DAW tab. This is what's coming back from the computer on the USB connection to your mixer. Now, as I said, Mac only gives you the option of one and two. So your left, you're gonna to wanna to choose slot one, then come down and click on the right side or channel strip two in this case, and then choose slot two. Once you've done that, you can jump back and your signal will be ready to go. So now that I've showed you how, let's actually just test it so you can see that it's working. I have another window queued up, so let's play that. And then let's jump, oops, let's jump back over here and bring these faders up and you should hear it show up in my speakers. Into the mixer after manipulation. There it is. Before it leaves on a speed. So let's pause that. And there you go. Now you know how to set up your audio to leave your Mac and show up in your mixer wherever you want. And then as soon as you raise those faders, it'll go out of your master to your speakers that you have connected. And of course, once you've gotten this far, if you wanna send it anywhere else out of an aux bus or whatever you want, any of your physical outputs, you can do that just by sending these channels wherever you need them to go. Anyway, I hope that was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please like, 
and share and subscribe. All the normal stuff. You can also check us out on Patreon or you can join the channel down below or even do a super thanks down below if you find any of our videos helpful. Everybody who's already contributed or subscribed, you've made a huge difference to me and this channel and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Anyway, until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quickies. Bye everybody.